Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve the performance of your Windows 10 and 11 for gaming. So make sure to watch this video till the end. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, so we're going to be using this simple program called Ultimate Windows Tweaker. You can find a link to this down in the description below. Once you open up this folder up, you'll find in all of the files over here. And once again, shout out to the team who has created this. That is Anand Kansi from the windowsclub.com. This is a super important tool and it is a great for you guys. So simply right click on this as administrator. Alright, and as it opens up, you guys can see a few things right over here. The first thing is the Windows Experience Index, which is a feature of Windows 7. If you guys didn't know, Windows marks all of your hardware and it gives a rating on it. And for me, it is 8.75. However, you can always click on Run Assessment and it will do an assessment test for your PC to see if your PC is really worth it or not. Once again, if you get a Windows Experience Index lower than 7, that means you have a decent computer. And if you have it below 5, then it means that you have a super low end PC. Now, once again, right over here, you'll find Create a System Restore Point, and this is a must to do thing before moving ahead. So simply click on it, then select your local disk C, click on Create and name it uwc just so you can remember it i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because any of the changes if you want to revert them back to normal without any data loss you can always do it with this restore point once it is done simply click on close and close system properties well before moving ahead i would like to introduce you all to gvg mall a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place gvg mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit reliable and convenient on the website you can find a lot of categories where you can get steam and origin as well as pc game gift cards and genuine windows activation key I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark. Mark. There are multi bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Now the Ultimate Windows Tweakers has a ton of customizations and settings that you can do that you can find it over here. Now once again, to know about each of these settings, you can simply hover your mouse over here and then you'll find the description right over here. So I do not have to explain you everything in detail. If you want to know what you are doing to your PC, you can simply hover your mouse over it and read whatever is coming down beneath it to know what it does. Now once again, I will be going through some of these best settings that you can apply for yourself that will give you ultimate performance. First thing is under the customization section. Now you'll find in Windows 11. Over here, you have to find the first thing that is a disable transparency effects. Simply click on it. And the second thing that you have to find over here is a disable start animations. Simply click on it and it will disable all unwanted start animations from your PC. The next thing that you have to do is disable a Windows Ink workspace. And that should be it for Windows 11. Moving on to the file explorer, you'll find delete page file at shutdown. Simply click on it. And once that is done, simply click on apply tweaks. Third is the universal UI in which you can disable your lock screen if you do not have a lock on your PC and each time you have to enter a password you can simply disable your lock screen from here. However, I would recommend you guys to click on disable changing lock screen image as well as disable login screen blur effect. Once that is done, go to this PC and over here you don't have to change anything. However, if you want to add or remove something, you can always click on it. It's a personal preference. Next is the user account settings right over here in which you will find the first option that is disable updating group policy on startup 
This will drastically decrease your startup time. Next thing is a display last logon information on logon screen. You have to enable this as well. And finally, for system failure, what should be done? Simply click on show blue screen of death and then click on apply tweaks. Next is in the performance section right over here. So the first thing that you'll find over here is the wait time to kill application during shutdown. Set this thing to 1500. And the last one is the waiting time to kill non-responding applications. Set this thing to 1000. Also over here, click on disable super fetch service. And then you have to increase the priority of IRQ8. And you also have to disable the edge tab preloading as well as disable edge preloading. And if you do not have a printer, I would highly recommend you guys should disable printer spooling service as well. And for maximum performance, I would recommend you guys should disable prefetch service as well. And if you have a super low end PC, you can turn off the search indexer as well to reduce use your CPU consumption. Next is security and privacy and right over here you have to click on disable OneDrive, rest everything, you can turn this thing on, it is necessary for system. In the privacy section you have to disable telemetry, you have to disable and reset advertising ID, you have to disable steps recorder, disable taskbar Bing web search, disable handwriting data sharing and if you do not have biometrics on your PC, I would recommend you guys to disable biometrics as well. Also disable Windows update sharing. Next is the browser settings right over here where you have to disable the edge tab preview as well as remove Bing button and sidebar. Other than that, there is a context menu, additional settings which I am not going through because these are just the default settings and I would recommend you guys to keep them as it is. However, you can set your blink cursor width to 1 and cursor blink time to 530 milliseconds and once that is done, you can simply click on apply tweaks. These are all the best settings for ultimate windows tweakers. Now once again, that was to optimize all of the basic settings and registry settings of your windows. If you want to improve your ping and internet issues, I would recommend you guys to use no ping. No ping is an ultimate choice to get rid of all of your packet loss, ping issues, latency and so much more. You can simply download no ping from the link in the description below. Once the application opens up, it looks like this and over here it offers you hundreds of games to choose from. You can simply search for the game that you want to play. I would play Valorant, simply click on it select the server the nearest server to me will be mumbai so you have to simply scroll down a little bit until you find the nearest server that is mumbai 01 for me then simply click on optimize this game and it will one click optimize your game once again no ping allows your pc to tunnel your internet straight from your pc to the game servers without any hindrance which will ultimately fix all of your internet issues breakage packet loss and so much more not just that, in the settings here right over here, if you enable the turbo games, it will automatically help you to reduce your keyboard input latency. And if you click on the boost FPS button right over here and enable all of these options, you can get maximum FPS in games as well. No ping is an absolute banger for all of your games. So make sure to go check out if you face packet loss, ping issues, and in general, if you want to reduce your input latency. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button. We are really close to 200,000 subscribers and I'm counting on you guys. We'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.